right, family, let's go ahead and jump into this DIY. So I'm going to be taking these candles and melting them down. I got these candles from the Dollar Tree, and I want to transfer the wax from these candles over into a ceramic jar that I've been holding on for a while that I picked up from my local Ross. So if this is something that you're interested in and you want to know how this turns out, just keep watching. All right, y'all, so the candles are melting. I do have my stove set between two and three. This is my very first time doing this DIY, y'all, so I didn't want anything to crackle or bust while I was trying to heat up to get the wax. But it turned out really good, and they start melting wonderfully. And this is the actual ceramic jar that I told you all I wanted to transfer the wax into. And I know I said in the beginning of the video I got it from Ross, but actually, y'all, I got it from Dollar Tree. Y'all make sure you all check out Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has come up, baby in the home decor department, okay? All right, so as per the instructions on the DIY video that I did watch on this, you do need to save the candle wicks that um, come, you know, out of the jars that you got, that you melted down. And once they started melting down, y'all, they were pretty much easy to pull. Just kind of be a little bit careful because, you know, this stuff did come from the Dollar Tree. Don't, don't play, okay? But I am taking the actual wicks that I got out of the candles that I melted down, and I am placing them at the bottom of this ceramic jar. Now, look. Look, I got a little scared because as you all can see, this particular ceramic jar is tall. So I was wondering, was my wick going to be long enough for me to light? Because, you know, this is a tall jar. Um, and although the candles that I got it out of y'all were tall, this was a little bit taller. So this is me actually getting the wicks and trying to uh, hot glue gun them to the bottom of the jar, like the direction said in the video I watched. And I'm trying to get them to set up and be stable. So you all will see that here. And if you all are wondering what I'm doing here, I actually had to take a straw and actually push the wick, um, the metal part of the wick to the bottom of the jar because my hand wouldn't go down in there, y'all. So I had to take a straw to kind of reinforce that pressure um, for the hot glue gun to make the wick stick to the bottom of the jar. So that's what I'm doing. And I did it twice because I want two wicks per this jar. All right, so I got my wicks to stand up, but just to try to make sure that they don't fall back in when I start pouring my wax, I just took a piece of scotch tape, y'all, and just kind of laid those wicks off to the side just so they wouldn't move while I was trying to pour the wax inside the jar. And all right, here we go. Let's pour. All right, so I have this lavender essential oil. So each time I do a pour from a jar, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this in just to try to make sure I give this candle some type of fragrance because those jars of candles from the Dollar Tree have absolutely no fragrance. All right, family, so as you all can see, the candles did not quite fill up my ceramic jar the way I would have hoped. So I'm gonna go ahead and just center my wicks because they'll have to dry overnight and then tomorrow I'll go back and get some more.
Lord have mercy. That was hard trying to get those wicks to stand up. Number one, I know that they come from the Dollar Tree. Number two, they were giving very much Beyonce hair blowing in the wind. Very, very flimsy. Very, very fair weather friend. Just back and forth. Okay. And I did not want them to fall all over the container in the morning. So I, of course, had to stand them up and make them sturdy so they can stay in place. Because how they are now is how they are going to dry, y'all, with the wax on the inside. So I'll go ahead and add the rest of my lavender essential oil here no biggie when i refill it tomorrow i have some more oils to put inside here but yeah let's go ahead and let this dry overnight and we'll see what we come back with um at the end All right, family. So this is what we ended up with at the end of the night. Um, I am going to head back to the Dollar Tree and get about two to three more of those candles to do the same thing again to fill this up a little bit more because I do want it to be filled up a little bit more. But it looks good so far. I'm trusting the process. Hopefully you all are too. And actually, I'm going to throw some pink paint on this to match my dining room. And voila, here we are painted. I'm gonna put this in my dining room and I'm gonna light it. I'll let you all know how those essential oils work out. Thank you all so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.